In this lesson, we're going to look at simplifying radicals of variables with odd exponents. In the previous lesson, we learned how to do the square root of a to the 8th by taking the index of 2, dividing it into the 8, and getting a to the 4th is our answer. In order to do odd exponents, such as the square root of a to the 7th, we need to change that using the multiplication property of square roots into the square root of a to the 6th and the square root of a to the first. In other words, we're making it an even power and one odd power, the odd power always being to the first. Then we're going to continue like we did before and take the index and divide the 2 into the 6 and get a to the third. The square root of a cannot be reduced, so we have a cubed root a. Copy this into your notes. So the rule is for odd powers, we're going to change to an even power and a power with an exponent of 1 using the multiplication property of square roots. You try. Copy the notes and the problem. Do the problem in your notes. Pause the video. So, to change the square root of a to the 51st, we are going to change it to an even power, which would be the square root of a to the 50th, and the square root of a to the 1st. We're going to solve the square root of a to the 50th by taking the index of 2, dividing it into the 50 to give us 25. Therefore, the square root of a to the 50th is a to the 25th. And we have the square root of a. So our final answer is a to the 25th, square root of a. Please copy this into your notes. Pause video if you need to. Copy the following problem in your notes and try. Remember, we are want to separate the variables from the numbers. Do the numbers separate, then do the variables. Pause the video so you may complete this. So using the multiplication property of square roots, we're going to separate this into the square root of 48 times the square root of a to the 17th. The square root of 48 we're going to solve by dividing the biggest perfect square that goes into 48. By going through our list, we would see that the square root of 16 is the biggest perfect square. So we're using the multiplication property of square roots to break this up in the square root of 16 and the square root of 3. The square root of 16 can be simplified to 4, so our number is taken care of by writing it as 4 root 3. Now we need to do the square root of a to the 17th. Well, a to the 17th can be rewritten as the square root of a to the 16th and the square root of a. Dividing the 2 into the 16, we get a to the 8th, and we get the square root of a. Now, we can't leave our answer like that. It's not very pretty. What we're going to do is multiply the numbers that are not under the radical together, and then multiply the numbers that are under the radical together kind of like a reverse multiplication property of square roots. So that's our final answer. Please pause the video and copy the work.